Well, hello, good morning, welcome back to the channel. I believe it's now Friday the 22nd of March this morning as we're out doing our checks in the lead yard. It's a, it's a nice breeze that we've got going here, it's very nice. Could have easily slept in this morning. But we managed to drag ourselves out of bed and we are heading for Trafford Park this morning. We've got this uh, load of 40 foot container on here. I believe it's full of like electrical cable and that. It's going to be a tight fit in it, hang on. Oh, we're through. <laughs> we're through. Yeah, so we've got a kind of lock on still. We'll, um, I'll leave that on until we get on site and start getting tipped, I think. But we might as well. It's just some little unit that we're going to today. So what I'll do is I'll get off and get out of the wind. Get back in the truck and build up some air pressure and we'll get over towards Traffic Park. It's booked for half eight this morning. Ah, uh, so we're on the road. Just come up the first few big hills just about to start climbing up Saddleworth. It's going to be some pull up here, I think. It says 21 ton, but I think it's heavier than that. It's pulling like it's fully loaded, is this? certainly pulling like it's fully loaded uh, we're having an all right run at the minute traffic is busy though for 20 past six in the morning it's um, it's quite busy and not only I can't get past this wagon in front I can get past them down the hill but I think they just have me on the hill potentially going up because we're gonna struggle up this next hill so there's no point trying to winch past there isn't no point trying to winch past going up the hill in case we don't make it because so I've just had that Malcolm's just hold me inside for about a mile when I tried to get out past the crane going up the hill he's just yeah just sat there there's no weight on his it looks like he's empty but he was just sat there not wanting to go anywhere so we'll stay here try and take the easy day it is Friday so we'll try and make the try and make the most of the easy Friday it should be because like I say after we'll we'll be I imagine we'll be here in probably at least three hours at this job. Uh, possibly longer with them putting a cutoff time on it of 4 pm at the close. So we will soon see, but we're starting the big climb now up the hill. You know, this is just gonna be us losing speed now for the next at least the next half a mile and then just chugging away up it. Uh, we ain't got much power left in there I don't think either. But we'll see, we'll see how she gets on and we'll get up it and over. It's currently got us at 10 past 7 at the moment. But we can easily lose a good chunk of time at Manchester in traffic if it builds up. So that's why we started so early. It's not worth not worth cutting it too close and stressing. Oh, is there a lane closure? So 600 yards. This lane's closed. That we're all in here. Or 800 yards. So if it is, it's going to cause a bit of a bottleneck because of all quick vehicles coming up. I can't quite see over top of van. We'll soon find out. Can't tell because there's the wagon up there is indicating in it. Yeah, lane's closed. Lane's closed. It's a good place to close a lane, really, isn't it? And a big hill. But oh well. Oh well, we'll keep going. We're chugging up the hill. We are having to actually slow down for this wagon in front a bit. Which is probably better for our truck to be fair. We're not ragging it then to try and be flat out up it. So we'll keep going, get over to the job now and we'll find out how long they are going to be to tip. Well, glad we started early. This is um, Manchester at its finest. What, well, Ring Road in Manchester at its finest. It's, it's not the best, it's not the worst light, but it ain't the best. You know, this is five to seven on a Friday morning. So if we'd have been another half an hour later, you know, it could have been 
cutting it close because it's now got a zero at half past seven it's saying you know it's it, it'd have been eight o'clock at least we'd have been getting there probably later probably about ten past quarter past eight and jobs due at half past eight this morning so you know we've sort of sort of timed it about right uh, it sounds of it at the minute we have got a second job today at Bradford for one o'clock out of three on the leads but this is handball there's 1,600 and odd boxes or something like that on this um, of uh, circuit breakers so we um, yeah <laughs> we're going to be a good couple of hours here I would have thought um, as I say it only looks like a small place they ain't got really high capacity so they're going to have to keep putting stuff away and stuff like that I would have thought so we'll have to wait and see on that and see how it develops but I'm just glad we started early so we can sit in this traffic and not have to stress that we're, uh, we're going to be late because we've got a good hour leeway at the minute Well, we're over at Trafford Park. We're 0.6 of a mile away from the job. So we're not overly too far away. The traffic wasn't that bad actually. I can imagine, I could, it would be a lot worse in like half an hour I'd have thought. So I've, we've timed it just about right to be honest. It's quarter past seven it currently is. Like I say, I, want, I, didn't, I didn't want to set off any earlier. It'd just be too much stress, it wouldn't be worth it wouldn't be worth it but we'll slow down for all these massive potholes down this road this does need resurfacing here so we're 0.4 of a mile away if I remember right there's a Greg's here yeah there is I might be able to walk through a Greg's maybe perhaps it's going to be a bit tight I think oh dear there we go. so we passed that so we're further up we're past this truck up here that's parked up He's turning in there. There's a queue. So we're past that. We're down this next one. Text Textilos Road. Or text yeah, Textilos Road. It's somewhere down here on the left. In fact I can just see it now. I can see it. So we might possibly be able to park out on the road here maybe. I park up on left hand side here before we go in so I don't think there'll be anybody there yet at this time of the morning but at least they'll see us coming in yeah it's this first building on the right here yeah. shutters still down in it I think yeah all shutters are still down so we're gonna hold here I think yeah if we hold here we can see them coming in they can see us turning up as well because uh, they've only got one place yeah unit four is that one there so although i don't know if they've got a roller shutter door we'll stay here we don't want to cause any trouble we'll be able we'll be able to get in so yeah we're on site at least so i will get off or we'll update the tablet quickly that we're here and i'll get off and wait for someone to turn up and see how long they're going to be oh we're in getting look we're going getting tips so not loaded they've just just opened the doors they've got all the pallets lined up and um if you can see the they are tiny tiny boxes that they're carrying out so they've said about three to four hours so we'll just come up to bang on half past eight as well so well um We'll wait and see how long they're going to be. I'm half tempted to order a breakfast off just to eat a summer, but again, at the same time, I just can't be bothered because they always have trouble trying to find you. Even though you put the reg number down and that you're in a big truck, they always have trouble trying to find you. So we'll see. I'll have, I'll have a look, see what there is about and how long they're going to be, and we'll go from there. But it's not looking likely for the one o'clock job that they've got planned for us at Bradford at the minute. I think that could be a bit late, but. We'll have to wait and see, won't we? OK, 
Okay, so that is just finally tipped. We are quarter past 12, currently is. That was just over four hour tip. My hand a bit stuck out there, isn't it? That's asking to be hit. Yeah, so you know, that were a long one with that. That were a long one. Um, we are back to Freightliner Leeds with this. Currently 51 mile away. Ooh, we can get straight out as well. And we can um, see what they've got for us. I think everything is covered for today, but they have asked if we're available to work tomorrow because there is some work that's come up out of New Orleans Rights at Rotherham for Barnsley in the morning. So said yes to that. So we'll see if that develops to out. Um, we haven't really heard out concrete on that per se. Christ, we can stay to the road here, man. They need to resurface this, don't they? This is dire. So, yeah, so that's been a long tip there. Uh, we might not get much out of today if out, to be fair. If uh, there's no left for us for today, we're looking at literally just probably getting box on for tomorrow and just parking up probably at iPort tonight. But we'll see if they'll pay us a night out for doing a Saturday for them. And then we'll go from there. Um, so there's just not a lot about, I think, well, I did have a second job for planned for us today for a one o'clock Bradford, but there's zero chance of that happening. Well, it is there at the minute, so we just have to um, take that for what it is. So I'll get off for now and we'll find out some more information on what is happening. Um, hopefully at some point soon. They are gonna book a one o'clock VBS for us in the meantime, so we can at least get this booked in to get lifted off and then we'll go from that. Right, so it's scrap that. That's why we're, this is why we're queuing. They've done a, so they've done a rolling stop and pull one at lads. That's why everyone's queuing. Uh, we're not working tomorrow. <laughs> we were working, they planned it for us. We were going to ASOS at um, yeah, Barnsley at seven o'clock in the morning. But the box hasn't railed. So, well, the box isn't railing. It's still stuck down at Felix Dose. So, we scrapped that. We're now going to go get this off at Doncaster, Leeds, sorry, not Doncaster. Box on at Freightliner Doncaster in Monday. So literally just going to get the box off now at Freightliner Leeds. And back to the yard and done. So now it's become sort of a race foot down Friday now for me. Because if we can get a good turnaround at Leeds, get done for like three o'clock, I can beat all the traffic home. So perfect on that front so let's see what Freightliner looks like in there and we'll hopefully get a good run well we've made it to Freightliner and surprise surprise we're queuing uh, they've changed job round for Monday we're meant to be going to um, Howden but we've now got an 8 o'clock Bradford expect distribution out of iPort so I'm wondering I'm hoping that box is in then we can maybe get that on tonight then and then we're set for Monday um, I've done that expect distribution before it's handball it's two to three hour tip again so it doesn't look like we're gonna be doing a great lot on Monday now um, I think the plan was gonna be that we were gonna go to Howden meant to be a quick tip come back then we're gonna get some on to load that we could take down the road but looks like that's gone somewhere else so oh well it's all sent to try isn't it we'll just sit in this queue now and wait and um that's all we can do is all we can do hopefully the lifters start doing some at the there they're just not doing anything at the minute so we'll wait and see hopefully it doesn't take forever Well, hour later, finally got the tripping box off. Honest, I'm sure they just tech piss in here at times. They just all tech the mate. Just doesn't seem to have any go whatsoever about them at times. You know, you could be, you can be easily two hours, three hours in here at times. I would have thought. You no, know, there were no queue for every lift when we came in, and they're queuing up to the top now. 
or they're going to be soon you know it does become such a pain really does become such a pain you know it's hour a day that we've lost now especially on a Friday when we're going to get it done early you know it's I'm hoping to be done for three o'clock it's now quarter past two could have been at iPort by now to get a box on for tomorrow but that ain't happening is it so say an hour and eight minutes to iPort at the moment so hopefully we can be done for four and then for <laughs> sitting out traffic getting home oh it never works out well does it for us on this channel always just summer always just to niggle it just to become a pain let's see if we can get down here because this is chaos this is chaos we're all right that way look at queues jesus queuing for waste place and now they're queuing to get into freightliner as well so what is happening here he's coming up where's he gonna stop then there this is just chaos isn't it no one wants to try and organize out Don't help that they're all. Yeah, look at I don't think they're queuing. I don't know where this is going to go. This one is going in there. So I don't think they're queuing. I think he's literally just sat there waiting. They just sat there waiting, and no one's got. No one can get up past them. Good queue. It's just anarchy. Just hopefully, there we go. We squeezed round. We're through. We've made it. <laughs> nah, it's not the best, is it? Not when it's there's just no organisation to try and solve anything. Like we, like this is one stop to end at road is having a break. These are coming round, so we can't get over. Hopefully, there's no one else coming down past them. Otherwise, it is buggered. We're gonna have to keep going. There we go. We're through. We're out. It's just chaos, man. Just chaos. Let's hope iPort's quieter. If not, then early finish definitely has gone bye bye, hasn't it? But we'll see. I'll get off and try and calm down a little bit. <laughs> and we'll see how we get on. Well, I think whatever little look we had left has disappeared because oh, this is this is iPort. This is iPort. Um, but with a married town driver, he's been two and a half hours in the queue. We're only halfway down, so I f believe it's four queues here, four lanes. But it's knackered. This is this is two hours. Just come up to half past um, half past three now, so this this is this is two hours. This is knackered now. Just what we love on a Friday. Just what we love on a Friday. But oh well, it's over. We'll get overtime out of it. We'll get ten hours for the week. I would have thought, but you know, I'd soon rather just get the box thrown on and bugger off home. because you know, this is just taking the mate. I'd assume what they're doing. It's McIntyre at front here and he's talking with his mate to see what's happening, but but they're just done. It's just chaos. It's just utter chaos at the minute. The um we just can't seem to win. But we can move up a space. At least every little helps. Think we'll stop a little bit short because there's obviously roundabout there. We want to block all roundabout off if I can help it. I think I'll just move up a little bit more. The multimodal's got a bit of room then, but I'll probably hold it about here. 
then there's plenty of room for stuff to get around then we're not blocking the whole lot off so yeah don't look great but now well what can we do we just got to screen and bear it now well two hours later well just over two hours later actually that is us finally booked in <laughs> and they reckon it's another hour inside so we're going to be three hours i think to get a box on It, it it tests your patience especially when we're based at this yard and we could have been home hours ago but you know it's all sent to try as it's over time ah, i'll miss rush hour <laughs> i'll miss rush hour it's just coming up to half past five now so we are going to be waiting a little bit to get in the um, full inside so she says as soon as she opens up the door i think yeah we're next to go in once she opens up because I'm first to book in there's two on my left still a multi-modal and a Riley's but they're still booking in now so at least we're getting in soon hopefully and we can get our box on well still here it's now half past six so what's that three and a quarter hours now from when we first joined the queue and we finally I think there's four in front of us officially one's just gone round so at least three here but this lad's just got his box off so i don't know if he's getting one on but slowly but surely bloody getting there just what you want on a friday night is this you know if i thought we'd have had time to get box on monday i would have done but i just we, we just don't have the time we'd have um so I'm just watching this tr container coming in. Would have, um, it'd have been very close because I think it's going to be queuing light out on Monday morning. I think it's going to be really queuing on Monday. I know we can't afford to sit in that. I'll wait for this lifter to move before I go around. We'll wait for him to wait for him to finish what he's doing so he he, he can see where everybody is, and then we'll go from there. But yeah it's just frustrating is this you know we could have been home hours ago but we're getting there so hopefully it'll be all joyous the next time around woohoo we finally made it we're at the front of the queue it took just over three and a half hours oh dear unbelievable eh three and a half hours to get to it front at queue <laughs> oh we love we love container workers we love it i don't know how long we're going to be sat at the front of the queue but we're here we're here that's the main bloody thing christ almighty poor lad behind see he's only got he's only wanted to get a box off then he's gonna go back to Leeds empty he's got to late o'clock so hopefully oh, I think they're gonna lift his box off now actually he could have half a chance of making it back then but he needs a clear run back this lad does his multimodal it's just been slow going I think they just got inundated with trains to be fair I think that what biggest problem really think that would biggest problem yeah lads away box off and he's flying out of there there we are he is away he is away hopefully we're not hopefully we're not far away from that oh, lads coming up That's charlie lane, charlie lane yeah thank you there we are what we want to hear get on down there we go so down to C so this is G F I see C I see it I see it we're getting there we're getting there might be out for just just after seven 
It's um, what is it? It's five to seven now. All depends. So is this? This is C, isn't it? I think C is C is here at this block. This must be C, surely. Gonna see if our box. If we can see our box. So I think lift has gone down. The other one in front of us. Because that'll be A. That's B. Yeah, this will be C. But it could be that side of C. So I think if we wait here, we're in a good place then. It's exciting now. Finally getting our box. Oh, please don't be out wrong with it. Also, there is MSC trucks in here now as well. In here. So we're not sure what's happening with our yard yet. Still, still no word on what is happening. Yeah, he's moving in that stack in front of us, you see. I think it's probably just held me here, just so lad's got space to move. He's coming. It's not our box. It's not our box. False alarm. How's a beer brown one? It's a TCNU box I think we're picking up. Yeah, TCNU ending 924, 17 and a half, done. Please don't have my new auto move, pal. I am ready for getting home now. Get a good weekend planned. I'm gonna go see my old band play tomorrow night for the first time in a while, so there'll be a few pints had tomorrow night, especially after this week. Oh, blooming it, that was for sure. No, I'm trying to see if that rad box there, I'm sure it'd be in that stack in front of us that he's just put the, the grey one down from. What we'll do is we'll do Marley's review now, and then when we've got box on our lent video there. It's just a case of parking up, so we're down on mileage this week. We're doing well actually until Wednesday came and we took the fridge to um, Leeds instead of back down the gateway. So I think we're on nearly 800 mile by that point. So we've done 1,176 mile this week, which, which is all right, you know, it's what we cracked the thousand mile mark, and then we've done 2,950 mile for the last fortnight so so close to 3,000 for the last two weeks but yet not quite nope not our box <laughs> not our box again oh well pal don't be long there we go we have made it, we've got our box. Hallelujah. Slow it down, get her in position. <sighs> Breathe now, we're getting a box on. Finally, two minutes past seven. Quarter past three, we pulled up here. So we've been made to wait, but we finally got it. We're ready for Monday. At last, there we go. There we go. Oh dear me. So yeah, I will get off now and end this video here now that we've finally got the box on and ready for Monday. So I will see you all in the next one. <laughs>